So yes, I'm going to say a bit about bamboos because I grow a lot of bamboos. You'll see some more as we walk down the forest garden. And uh, I grow them as dual purpose crops um, for edible bamboo shoots and for canes as well, for garden uses and so on. Uh, uh, and they can be incredibly productive plants as well as being very beautiful and everything else. Um, and I probably would never have a garden now without bamboos because I think they're so useful. Um, so in our country we usually divide bamboos into two sorts, you know, bamboos that form neat round clumps and don't try and expand, sometimes called well behaved, and bamboos that try and expand uh, and sometimes called badly behaved or, you know, worse than that. Um, uh, but if you're looking at bamboo as a crop, you want one of the spreading ones because they are much, much more productive, but they need management. Um, otherwise, they'll just continue expanding. So this one, for example, can put up new shoots anywhere about two metres from the existing edge outwards. Plus, I mean, some of the new shoots will come up within the clump itself. Um, and if I did nothing, it would carry on doing that. You know? So um, doing nothing is not an option, really, if you have a bamboo like this. But harvesting is the maintenance. So they're one and the same thing. So basically, um, uh, in terms of bamboo shoots, uh, every bamboo species puts up its shoots at slightly different times, but they're usually between spring and midsummer, or no, spring and late summer, say. Um, uh, this one is a fairly early one, so these started coming up beginning of April this year, which is a little bit early. Um, and they've virtually finished, new shoots have virtually finished coming up. There's one, there's one there. Um, but um, some of my other bamboos are in full uh, production of shoots. And when a shoot comes through the ground, I actually cut this off one of my other bamboos uh, further up the garden. But I, I cut it so I can show you it here. That's what a bamboo shoot, like, shoot looks like. I cut that off at ground level, okay? So when it comes through the ground, it looks like that. And it's growing very fast. So at the moment, um, I mean, the last week hasn't been particularly warm, and I think these are probably growing about 15 centimetres a day. Not that much a day. Um, <laughs> if it's warmer, it can go up to more like 25 centimetres a day. You know, they're very fast growing. Um, uh, and basically, these shoots, as I said, they might come up within the clump, they might come up on the outer edge and around it. Um, uh, and basically, if a shoot is coming up, say, in this path here, uh, and I cut it, that shoot will not regrow. It's not like coppicing a branch. Uh, that's it for that shoot for that year. Uh, end of story. So maintaining a bamboo within bounds means defining a boundary for it and cutting up any shoots that come up beyond your boundary. That's it. And as long as you cut them relatively small, say, say under a metre high, you can eat uh, about the top foot, about the top 30 centimetres of the shoot. Now this one... Um, I'll cut down the middle and then basically this is how I prepare bamboo shoots in the kitchen. Um, I cut them lengthways uh, and inside you'll see all the subdivisions there are were, uh, were going to be the nodes for these bits on the cane. So there's a fixed number of those and the distance, the average distance between nodes is fixed for your location. So actually this shoot knew how high it was going to grow before I just cut it off um, a few minutes ago um, uh, because it uses all these grows, uses up the, the nodes one by one and then it runs out and stops. And it does all its growth in about four weeks and it never gets thicker than that so that uh, this if it had formed a cane it would have been that diameter about uh, yeah, 15 millimeters maybe um, and once it's reached its top height in four weeks, it never gets higher than that either. But it does put out uh, leafy side shoots over the next couple of years. So having cut a bamboo shoot, what you eat is basically everything that's white or light green inside. So you have to peel off the outer leaves, which are tough. Now that bit is, at the end is probably a bit too tough. Um, now this is probably quite bitter, this one. It is quite bitter. Um, most bam you can eat any bamboo shoot from any bamboo, okay? But uh, most bamboos, including a lot of the ones eaten in China, are bitter when they're raw, and so you need to cook them to remove the bitterness, and that basically you just have to steam them for about 10 minutes. Um, that's basically half of a bamboo shoot this size. It's not a huge amount of material. 
and you know anything very much smaller than that is not worth it uh, in terms of bamboo shoot size. The bigger the better. You know, probably the average on this is about two centimeters, um, and this is a good kind of mid-range bamboo species uh, for using the canes as well. Um, but I have others, so I have one up at the other end of the uh, garden near my polytunnel that uh, puts up shoots between six and seven centimeter diameter. And one of those is worth about 20 of these probably in, in food value, you know, what you get out of it. Um, but it's not quite so useful as a garden cane because you've got a, you end up with something six or seven centimeters diameter and 10 meters high. Um, <laughs> And you're not going to you're not going to train a you know, bean up that. Um, you could probably build something with it or something else. You know, you, you know they're pretty wacky, great canes. Um, so you know, some some species are better than for some things and some for others. So we harvest a lot of bamboo shoots. Um, this is one plant here that I planted about 15 years ago. I've allowed to expand to where it is now. It can't expand any further. Um, and each year I probably harvest about 150 shoots off this plus about 100 canes. Uh, so, you know, one plant can be really very, very productive. Um, when you harvest, can you actually store them for any length of time? Or do you have to use them fresh? Uh, uh, not for very long, a few days, really. Uh, that is all, um, I think. How many really good off plants in one go? Um, at one go, when it's putting up shoots uh, quite a lot, you might get off this maybe 15. And then one picking, mm. something like that. Um, usually I'll try and check certainly twice a week when there's lots of shoots coming up because they're going that fast that, you know, uh, if, it's, if it's above a metre, you know, it's too late to eat it. You know, you can still cut it and, and it won't regrow, but the canes are no use to you. Um, so the other thing I use bamboos for, of course, is the canes. Uh, and um, uh, the wooden bamboo canes takes three years to harden. So although uh, new shoots uh, and the new canes can look um, pretty hard, they can feel pretty tough um, after, you know, after six months even they can feel pretty tough. If you cut that and use it outside it'll rot in a season. So it'll last you a season and then it'll just uh, uh, rot out of weakness. So um, that's fine if you've got plenty of bamboo canes, you could just harvest new ones mm. each year. But if you want durable ones, you have to wait until they're about three years old or older till you cut the canes. And um, uh, to do that is, is not necessarily straightforward because after about a year or a year and a half, all the canes look the same. You can't tell by looking at them what's three years old or what's two years old. Um, so uh, what I do is what you do commercially, of course, mostly in China, is I put a dot of colour on some of the new canes for each year so I know I'm a different colour for each year. So I know basically, so for instance there's, uh, there's a, a, some silver on the bottom of this cane, I know that's two years old. Um, there's some black and I know that's three years old and so on. Um, uh, so if I want durable canes, you know, I know, I know what to cut. Um, and that doesn't take very long, I only go around once a year, usually in August, when all the new canes are up and still obvious that they're new, and just put a quick dot of colour on, uh, on some of them, not necessarily all of them. Even. So, um, so yes, bamboos can be in incredibly productive uh, and useful plants. Um, as a perennial vegetable, you know, it's early in spring, a lot of, there's a lot of good perennial vegetables early in spring, you know, in April. And May, you know, if you're growing annual vegetables, that's a hungry gap when there's, you know, there's not that much around. And um, certainly, there's a lot of perennial vegetables can fill that gap really easily. And bamboo shoots are one of them. Um, another plant I'll point out is uh, the one behind you here, which is a um, somewhat scrappy-looking plant, but actually one of my favourites, probably in the forest garden. Um, and this is American elder. Um, and you can see the flowers forming on there. It hasn't flowered yet. Um, and uh, I do like elderflowers as a crop. Um, and I make a lot of summer drinks uh, and sometimes alcoholic drinks out of elderflower. And um, uh, I use native elderflower, no problem there. Um, but of course, it only flowers for about a month, kind of mid May to mid June usually. Um, whereas American elderflower flowers later, it starts flowering in July. So it's probably about. Uh, 10 days off, I think, till the first flowers open. Um, 
uh, and continues flowering right through till November. So as a fresh flower crop, it's fantastic. Uh, it's also not a tree, it's a shrub. It doesn't get higher than you can see here. It's a, it's a suckering shrub. So it's, it slowly expands. It's not, it's not, doesn't suck as fast at all. Uh, and each shoot lives maybe five or six years and dies back, which is why you can see there's some dead wood underneath it. And so that's just old shoots that's died back. And new ones come up. Um, and because it doesn't get higher than this, you can actually reach all the flowers very easily. You can just bend down the higher branches to get them if you need to. Um, so it's very easy to pick as well compared with native elder, which can sometimes you know, get, get pretty tr tricky to pick. So um, the flower quality is also better, I think, than native elder. That's, that's subjective, of course. No, object, yes, subjective, sorry. Um, um, I describe them as a bit more vanilla-y and a bit less cat pee. Is, is my, is my description of them anyway. Um, but, you know, um, it's, it's a really good plant.